Hello ceramics students, uh, welcome to the Mac Lab. Today we're going to be um, using the computer and the internet to um, develop our, our designs for the exterior of our lidded container that we're making and down in the ceramic studio. So today to start when you log on um, you are going to uh, click on the crimsonart.net, go to Safari. Uh, with these Macs if you scroll down to the bottom a dock pops up and Safari is here. You may also have a Chrome uh, icon somewhere on this dock. If it's not shown up, um, it's chances are it's hidden, so you just put this cursor down at the bottom and uh, click on it. Just click once, okay? And then it should uh, pop up. Type in, um, if you don't see it here along the top, you're going to have to type in www.crimsonart.net and then click return. Go to courses ceramics A and then slab, unit 4 slab and coil constructed choice project and then uh, you are gonna need the first one here right away okay so um, click on that let's download the file it's an AI file it's an Adobe Illustrator file we're gonna use Adobe Illustrator today and that should pop up uh, soon uh, what you'll see is you'll see this file and uh, so our objectives for today, our students will demonstrate understanding for creating a motif in Illustrator to be used for the exterior of your lidded vessel. Uh, you are going to become aware, hopefully develop awareness for basic navigation in Adobe Illustrator. Uh, and then you also utilize some Adobe Illustrator's tools and options for your motif. Okay. So what I've done here is here's the template that you need to use and it's pretty simple. Uh, all we're going to need to do is I want you to think about what you, what kind of imagery, what kind of um, maybe patterns or imagery you want on the exterior of your pot. Now I've chosen to do kind of a sculptural bird uh, handle and I've now found some cardinal pictures I'm going to use as my motif or my exterior application. So I want you to think about what you want for the exterior of your piece. It could be random patterns, it could be images. Um, keep it simple. Don't go and search your Facebook for a picture of yourself at prom uh, or something like that uh, because it's going to be way too detailed. Keep it simple. I mean keep it simple down to like an animal or something that's going to be manageable. A simple pattern, shapes, something. Okay. So what we're going to do is, um, once you find that, I'm going to do a Safari search or a Google search um, for, and I'll just show you what, I just typed in um, cardinal, flying cardinal. <clears throat> and it's going to, I'm just going to click on images and I just found a bunch of these images, okay. I think one of the images I found, I think I used three or four. Um, but let me just pick anyone. And you want to try to find a picture without a, a lot of background. Try to find a picture with white background. Okay. Um, this one would be a good one, for instance. Okay. So let me just click on that. Um, with, with the Mac, you need to hold down the control button, click on it, and then copy image. Okay. There's no, unless you have a right click on your mouse, uh, you have to hold down the control button on the keyboard, copy the image, and then go back to your um, illustrator and let's just move this out of the way this is the my example that I was sh I, that I'm showing you now I'm just gonna move this out of the way and I'm gonna edit paste or you could Apple V on your keyboard or that little icon with the V hit that and it'll it'll paste your picture from your internet in just in illustrator it's a JPEG now one thing about illustrator is that it's vector art which means you can zoom in on it and you'll never lose resolution it's always going to be a crisp line see that there's no pixels so if we zoom out and the zoom out by the way it's command or apple minus key the zoom to zoom in it's plus all right now if i were to zoom in on this command plus key or apple if you hold on the space bar you can grab your hand and move your picture around um, you can see how pixelated it is. So that's why Illustrator is great because it vectorizes your artwork and instead of having um, pixels it has vector lines. Okay. So anyway 
if we if I want this bird, all I have to do is and this is what you'll do. Once you find your simple picture, you're gonna go up to um, you click on it, get your little black arrow out, click on the picture once, and click the live trace button. It says live trace, and what's gonna do? It's gonna put a threshold. It's gonna make it black and white. That's all we need. And you can mess around with the threshold here. I'm going to turn up the threshold a little bit and then click back here. You can see how it changes. I want more detail, so I'm going to mess with the threshold button. That looks good to me. I like that. So I'm going to go ahead and click Expand. Once you get it, click Expand. And then what's going to happen is it's going to put anchor points around all of your artwork. And now I can take my little white arrow. I'm going to click off of it, though. Click off. Notice when you click off in the background, it's not selected. When you click on it, it is selected. And that's with the black arrow tool. With the white arrow tool, I'm going to click on just the white and hit the delete button on your keyboard. Hit the delete button. Bang, it goes away. Okay. Notice I have some things down here that I don't want. I'm going to scroll over that and just hit the delete button a couple times. I kind of want this branch in there, so I'm going to keep that. So now if I click on the picture, it's pretty much just the black that I want and the background is gone. Okay. So now with this, notice if I hover over the corner, I'm going to hold on the shift key and constrain the size down. I'm going to shrink it. And by holding the shift key on the keyboard, it's going to keep the proportion, the aspect ratio the same so I can, so I can use it. Okay. All I'm going to do now is move this into place where I want it. I'm going to slide it right in there. And that's okay if my wing is cut off. I kind of like that look. I like the size of that. I'm just going to leave it just like that. Now you can find, I could, you could repeat this if you want. You could find different pictures like I'm doing over here. Let me move this back. Um, or, you know, you could find um, whatever you want for your motif. Just keep it simple. Keep it simple. Think about pattern. Think about um, theme, your subject matter, and then um, and then what I what all you need to do is print it. The last thing to do is to print it. So go to File, Print, and all it's going to do is print what's inside the white square. And you'll see some of it might get run off or cut off. That's okay. Um, we can deal with that later. <clears throat> Um, and then just make sure it says 355 or 355 C and click print and you'll be good. That's it. Um, raise your hand if you have trouble. Um, you know, ask a neighbor, read, watch this video a couple times, a pause it as you need, work along with it. Um, illustrators per, there's a lot to it, but we're just doing basic things. This is all, all I showed you today is all you need to do for it. Okay. So, um, good luck. Find some, um, interesting imagery to put on the exterior of your pot today. Okay, good luck.